Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Batman Arkham Asylum. As you can see, I've done everything in terms of Batman, I believe I have. Uh, these were pretty ridiculously difficult. Actually, it's funny, if you look up a video of how to do this stuff, and you find, you know, the easiest way to do them, you're set. I mean, just do that. I, I at least tried, you'll have to give me credit, I at least tried to do this crap. Okay, so don't say I didn't do these. I'm not here to show you exactly how to do it. The whole thing was just to show you how to play through hard mode the easiest way, and I'm I'm still surprised that I even beat the game that quickly though. It took me less than twenty videos to do it in, which I'm kinda of surprised. Uh for Joker's Predator missions, which we're back in doing again. Uh hopefully this should be easy enough to get back through again. These are fun, but now that I know how to use my specs, I should be good. You can only use one pair of teeth. Of course, you can't actually, you know, stop it and make it go wherever you want to go. It has to go wherever it wants to go. That's what I kind of find kind of annoying, though. These are the last of what I need to do for the main Mitch, or main challenges, and then we have the extra content. Of course, I got spotted. No surprise there. I think the best thing to do is just... Well, no, probably not. Okay. Let's just scan the area and see where these guys are. Alright. I got an idea. I'm at the door. I got an idea, but it's never really a good idea. Hold up. Who's back? Who's over here? Okay, maybe not. Still was not a good idea. I keep dying in the same spot. I just realized that. I keep doing the same crap. I have an idea. An even smarter idea. I'll silent take down the first guy, and then I'll walk up that ramp, and then I'll wait for the other guy to come through, and then I'll silent take him down, and then... Did any of you hear the one about the escape? Shoot I'm another guy, the and then maybe... One one? I don't know. Sticker. Why do I feel like I'm playing Metal Gear Solid? Probably because I don't have Batman's abilities to fly around. <laughs> take out this guy who... I was gonna say, is that Cash? No, it's not Cash. It looked like him for a second. He's bald. He's pretty much bald just like him. I think Cash is kind of bald. No, I think he's got like a buzz cut going on there. So we got a guy over there. We can easily silent take this guy down. If I was smart and I actually scanned the area like I'm doing now, this wouldn't be so hard. Oh yeah, he has other ways of doing it. That, of course, was rather quick. That's a really fast way to do it, though. I think they're all three over there. I look with the gun. Bust a cap on somebody's ass. That's going to send him running towards me. I'm going to beat this guy down in the face. No, he turned around. Okay. Somehow these guys think I vanished. <laughs> As luck would have it. Come on, my little Joker teeth. Minion, go! Oh, crap. Yeah, I think... Yeah, we don't have, like, any, like, extra health, though. So... Oh, there's two of them. Shit. Shit. We don't have, like, any of that extra health upgrades either, so that's going to be kind of harder to get through. And, of course, we don't have any armor. There's still two more? What? Well, I, I knew that, but still, why? How? I love how he just has, like, these glasses just to put on. I always found that kind of just silly. I didn't want to take them off. I wanted to look. Now... I'm thinking that maybe one of these guys is going to probably... No, okay, but not. At least there's no, uh, Batman PA system going on over here. Oh, crap. They can easily see me. That's not good. They obviously have to make this stuff easier than Batman's. Because it is Joker. He's not really agile enough as Batman or whatever you want to say. Knock, knock, knock. And snap of the neck. Yeah, see, Joker's a little bit more ruthless than Batman was. So now we actually have legit killing going on here. And we'll kick him in the nuts and he's down. He fell out of the thing. <laughs> okay. Some slapstick camera for you folks out there who like slapstick camera just like me. That took us 2 minutes and 28 seconds and 69 milliseconds. Not too bad, though. Actually, I gotta admit, Joker's design in this game is really well. Well done. Really well done. I like it a lot. 
And now it's only going to get even worse. It's only going to get even harder. If detected by armed guards, run! <laughs> That's Joker's tips. Just want to catch me with surprise? Okay. All right, let's take a look here. We got a guy coming over there. We have not that many people. Actually. Sucks you can't actually walk. I'm doing this. Uh, I have an idea. Where's the ladder? There it is. <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna probably just do a corner takedown if I can. That was a bad idea. I just want to kind of get a, a visual on where everybody was. This guy could probably just teeth. Or shoot. Either way you put it, I'll, I'll figure something out. When, from this angle, it looks like Joker's looking that way, but actually he's actually looking down that way. Can I do a corner takedown? Yes, I can. Sweet. Huh. He actually legitly put him out. Knocked him out cold. Didn't actually just kill him. That's a first. I've seen that. I don't really do corner takedowns with Joker because... Joker missions are just, you know... So this guy... I can just shoot. You gotta have, like, legitly perfect name with that crap, though, too. You can't screw around with a gun. Screw around the gun, you screw around. You fuck up. I don't know. Alright, what's going around there? So we got teeth we can use. We'll probably just use that for like the last couple guys or so. Uh, let's see. Yeah. yeah, see, these are actually really enjoyable though. I like both. I mean, I, I do kind of like the predator challenges. Just, I don't like the really hard ones, of course. <clears throat> and that's. Saying a lot, I guess. It's saying I suck. <laughs> well, I guess I got a man down over there. Well, they're about to have more men down because I'm about to blow some shit up. Let's throw some teeth. Anybody who gets near me will die. So don't get near me. You will die. Might be able to blow more than one of them up. I'm surprised they don't see the teeth walking towards them. Oh, Took him down. <laughs> Of course it has to be silly, you know. It's Joker, why, why would it not be? I just really love the design of him in this game. I don't know, just... Something about it, just... It works. Now, there's been some really good ones. There's been some really bad designs, but... This one is at least my favorite of any version of him that was to exist. Or exist later down in the life. Did that guy just really jump on the other guy? Did you see where he went? What a dick. Okay, let me see here. My voice is starting to go away. It's starting to lose it. Uh, and they found me and then I died. Oh, I'm caught. I'm in custody after you just shot me. Cops. <laughs> Cop logic for you. Well, Guard logic in this game, at least. No, they're not. No, they're, they're guards. That's what they are. Yeah, they're not cops or guards. What thinking? All right, let's take a look here. Uh, we could probably do what I did last time and just corner take down the first dude. Make my life a little easier. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Still waiting. I'm sure we're probably still waiting. Yep. I can. I could probably just read a book in this amount of time. Come on, dude, hurry up! Hurry up! Down and out. I probably should save my bullet for you know, in case times. For like the last two, so I can waste one dude. Or for the last three. Either use my gun or use my bomb. My teeth. Because if I use... The bomb... That'd be good. It's funny how, like, that thing's blown up. But I wonder if, like, if you didn't even... If you didn't even do that, you know, in the entire game. I wonder what would happen. But yeah, I'm gonna use my teeth. 
and or my gun for the last three, because I can waste one with the teeth or gun, and I can waste the other one with the teeth or gun, and then of course I can just go find the last guy and just beat him down. The bloody pulp. How am I going to do this? I have to get to the other side, but that guy's just kind of in the way. Actually, I might have to blow him up. Maybe. Hopefully this guy will not go the way I am. Or I can just climb up. And silent take him down. There we go, that works. Question is, where was that other guy went? Where was that other guy went? Where'd that other guy go? Okay. This will be easy. Just one little hit in the nuts. Oh, no, okay, we're gonna make it even harder. I don't think it's random, I think it just... It might be random, I don't know if it chooses whether or not what you can do. So we got three more guys left to go. I'm just gonna walk steadily, because I know I'm gonna live this one out. I keep thinking of playing Last of Us. I'm trying to switch with R2. Hop down here, because they obviously heard the gunfire. They're going to go over there and look for it. Fill my teeth. And my teeth will chatter and run where the hell I need it. Wait, what? Boat down here. Okay. Oh, actually, you can blow up more than one guy. Okay, sweet. That actually saves me a lot of trouble right there. Two minutes, 52 seconds, 45 milliseconds. Not too bad. Of course, I'm not going to be able to make it on the leaderboards very well, but hey. I'm there somewhere, probably. Definitely not in the top ten, because those people cheat. Especially the, especially for the physical challenges, I think they just cheated in there. Some people do. Oh, I can actually take out multiple targets with a single well-aimed shot, too. Nice. Should have figured that out. I wish Joker had a way to... Besides, obviously, taking somebody down. Hell's a Shinda. I didn't... Hell's a Shinda, is that what that says? I don't know. Yeah, I wish he had another way of taking these dorks down. Besides the obvious. Kill a guy. He's down. Yeah, the count deal. Let's go for this first guy over here. If you know, it's not. Let's go for this guy. I did not mean to do some assaulting. I'm going to wait for that guy to go away so I can take out this guy. Alright. Alright. That one's down and out for the count. Yeah, I think they actually just gave you vision because they knew you would need it, at the very least. Rocksteady's not a bunch of dicks, so, you know, they're not gonna be like, oh yeah, you're gonna have to at least try to use something smart. Crap, we got a guy coming this way. No, that's not insane, dude. I was, I was thinking for a second there, like, maybe I probably should... No, I'm thinking I probably shouldn't. If all goes to worse, I might have to shoot his ass. Actually, no. I don't have to. Alright, I'm going to use my teeth. Throw him this way. I'm going to go for that guy. Blow him up. That's actually going to get... Uh... Talk about the people come down there. I think this is probably what gave the reason for wanting to make Gotham City imposters, though. The wackiness of just Joker in general. Probably one of, That's probably what made, you know, people like, oh yeah, let's just do that. Or made the developers of that game like, oh, let's make it. I actually have it for PC, though. It's free to play, so, you know, why not? Usually when something's free to play, I end up playing it, or at least trying it out. Seeing if it's actually worth anything to really do with. Ah, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> and surprise. Okay, we're all down. Sorry about the quietness, but when it comes down to the predator challenges, you really have to stay focused and just be quiet. I guess it's time for a little vacation. Out of here. Two twenty-one, twenty-one. Nice. Not too bad, I guess. It's funny because people think that Joker's really scary kind of character, but in Arkham Asylum, he's not really that scary. Just a lot of 
It's just really funny. I don't know what it is. Of course, it's probably just more likely Mark Hamill. I didn't think that Troy Yo, Troy Baker did a pretty good job of doing guy. his version of Joker, but I feel like the design of that character was not as good looking as, say, this design, in my opinion. What? I, did I really get spotted already? No surprise. I, of course, I sound like I'm surprised when I probably shouldn't be. You'll never beat me, Joker. Oh yeah, whatever, Batman. Who cares? Thinks it's all tough shit because he's Batman. <laughs> there's nowhere to really go. I mean, I think there's a vent. Cavern of Love. I think there's a vent over here somewhere. No, there's not. You have to actually sneak around these jackasses. I want to see something real quick. Okay, hold on. That guy could spot me. Not unless I kick him right in the balls. Of course. Can I actually jump up here? Yes, I can. Can I run the fuck away? Hopefully. I really wish there was like a challenge. Not like a challenge map, but like a... Because we already have those. But... Oh my god, there's way too many of these fucking idiots. I really wish there was um Kind of like a campaign mission, so to say. So to speak. There's no way I was going to get a well-timed shot, well -timed shot with that crap. There was no way in fuck. Wait! Ideas, ideas, ideas. That actually works. That actually hurt a lot. And now I have to actually try to do stealth take down there. We only got three dudes, three dudes left. Let them spread out. Let them find themselves. And let them spread out. Got a man down over here. He's looking around. He's back down there. I was going to say, I could probably easily take him out, but I thought I got shot for a second there because I landed so far on the ground it hurt. Go back behind something because if we get spotted... Oh, fuck. I think you can actually blow those up with the... Uh, teeth bombs, or your teeth in general. I think you can just use the teeth and that should be able to blow up a wall. Because if it's, ex if it's explosive, it's going to work the same way as explosive gel does. Those balls, I have no idea how to take down. I love that quick, just swift kick in the nuts. That just... So nice to see. Okay, so we're going to let him come down here. And I'm going to keep my eyes on this jackass, because I'm sure he's going to turn around. Or not. I'll just jump on him and take him out that way. And boom. Slap right in the face. Knock head down. We're done. All the Joker maps are done. Whether or not I got a good score, who cares? <laughs> that leaves uh, the last four left. Since I actually just realized I actually finished everything except for the extra content. Yeah, because if you look at Batman's, we got three, three. Of course, I did some of these off screen, but damn, that was a lot of. Man, I actually did that all in like a couple days. Okay, Armin Batman. We'll do the uh, Infinite Totally Insane. And then we'll do the Predator. We'll, I'll try to get the three minerals. If I don't, oh well. It's just extra content. I think it's just DLC crap anyway, so it's not really important. Just like Joker is. We've got the main thing done. So we're good. Um, anyway, I'm not going to try to go and on as long as I can. I'll just try to keep an infinite combo going to see how far I can go. If I don't do it, I'll just kill myself or something. Or... Oh, never mind. I'll wait until it gets a little bit hectic to die. I probably should have just done, like, normal Batman and just not armored Batman for this. I think I'm just too good. I'm not really going to try on this crap. Clearly, I'm doing that now. <laughs> There's no real, like, way to beat it, necessarily. I mean, it's just an infinite round of, you know, bullcrap. Alright, just hit me, guys. I only like these infinite things, just because. Just 
If I were you, if you want to die, the quickest way to die is probably just a lunatic. They're pretty damn fast in terms of just killing you. The thing is, you go until you die. Like, if you die, they're not going to penalize you for it. They're just going to say, there's your high score. Happy birthday. I want it to be over with just to say that I've done it. There we go. We got 6,000 points. Yay. High score. <laughs> At least my high score. If I ever do it again, I'll work on it, but... Whenever the lunatics come out, that's when it actually gets hard. It actually does get real hard. I know how to evade. I know how to reduce damage. Okay. So what do I have to do there? One, Nocturnal Hunter. When henchman climbs on top of the ladder, send them flying back down. Take down a high security henchman. In red, last. What am I? Fuck me. Raw. <laughs> At least this is not extreme. Are you kidding me right now? I already got spotted. First minute. Not even the first minute I already got spotted. Uh, since this is extra content and it doesn't really matter, I'm just going to play this on my own time probably. And just, I'm going to beat it here on video. But what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll probably just, if, once I beat it, if I don't get all the minerals, I'll just go back and do it all my, on my own. I just call that a video because this is extra content. This is nothing to do with anything. Okay, this has nothing to do with jack shit. That glass right there, by the way, is you can't really do anything about it. Uh, the glass they're talking about, I think, is... Oh, shit, where are they? Well, you have to be at a vantage point. I think it might be that. Yeah, it's that glass right there. So let's let those guys figure out what they want to figure out. And then I'm going to throw a shock battering down there. And let them go down there. Of course, unless somebody actually comes this way. Come on, guys. Just spread out. Go. Away. I really just fuck it up. I really just did, didn't I? Yes, I did. Of course I did. That guy's... He's way down there, though. I can't do anything about that. Maybe... Maybe... I might get lucky. I don't know. Maybe one of them will come through over here. I'll probably look. I didn't realize I had to punch the glass first, of course. Well, which one's the high security one in red? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna hold L1 so I can kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, I guess it'd probably just be best to quit goofing around and actually try to take these guys out. Don't freak out. We can handle this. And I fucked up the ladder thing. No surprise. Maybe one of them will come back up here. I don't know. <laughs> His body just fell down. Yeah, of course they found somebody. He just... So what am I supposed to do? Climb back down. Well, one of you gentlemen want to come up here, maybe? I take it somebody is over there. Somewhere. Shooting me. Oh, you have to do it in a certain way. You have to, like, do it where they don't know you're there. Fuck this. This is just bullshit stuff right here. No, you know what? No, no. We're not even gonna do it. I'm just not even gonna finish this extra content bullcrap. I'll just show it off and just say, fuck this one. So I think it has nothing to do with the percentage. I think we have 100% right now. Well, I think I have 100% a long time ago. i just been goofing around with all this crap. I didn't really pay attention to how many points we're supposed to get. Again, I'll just do a one run through and be done. But I'll try to beat it, of course. I'm not going to not try. I think I just... Won that one, okay. 
I don't think there's very many points though for this part. Okay. Get that extra thousand. That's good. Mainly extra five. Well, thousand five hundred. They're always knocked down, and it's hard to, you know, do this. Perfect free throw bullshit. Bam! Oh, so there's not much points to worry about. Problem is, I have to do a, a strike on somebody else because I have to leap towards him just to hit him. That's why I have troubles with this fucking game. We've probably made... no. That's not... There's not enough guys. It just... You know, that, that's kind of something funny to say, but I mean, there's just... Not enough guys to really... Beat down, I guess. I'm sure 1500 is probably the amount of points they want. I love how like, I can just easily... Not only like, glitch it out, but I can just... I guess you could say it's probably like an exploit, but I can just easily just fuck it up. Somebody goes to hit me, I go to hit somebody else, and it just goes right through them. Here we go, cha-ching! I think we've got probably more likely all three points. And we're still going. Oh yeah, round four, duh. So yeah, 20,000 points is what they want you to get. It's obviously just here to be here. It's not really anything. It's just that one extra thing you just want to do with your life, you know? It's like, I I'd be the crime alley. I feel good. <laughs> I'm fine. Of course, we have one more infinite thing to go, and then we're done. I've pretty much done everything. Of course, except for getting all three medals of that other bullshit thing. But, um, these predator crap, I'm just not gonna do it. A lot of the time, a lot of this game is just DLC in terms of the challenges. We've done the main ones. Joker doesn't really count, I don't think. I believe so. If he did, that'd be stupid as fuck. So I'm pretty damn sure I got everything done. It's just they're probably gonna like count me out on the challenges. Probably gonna be like, oh, you got like 80% of the challenges done because you didn't finish that last stupid ass three metal challenge thing for Predator. Well, I didn't want to finish that one. That one sucks. That one's stupid. I'm sure there's probably a specific way to go, a specific route to pick. Specific route. Route. I call it route. Why do people call it route? <laughs> oh, why is it? Why is it? Why is it a big debate? I don't know. So here we go. We got the last challenge map to do. I'll just punch a guy and then I'll die. How about that? We'll make it as long as I possibly can. Well, actually, no. If I punch, it's a skeleton one too. So they're going to be really easy to take care of. But one thing is. I am kind of glad that they have these, or have this extra content here. You know, I, I'm glad. I should be grateful for it. I am. Oh, I guess not. I guess it's not just the one punch combo thing on here. I thought it was. Another thing I actually figured out recently, and this is just kind of for show and just just to be funny. You could probably infinitely make a lot of points up here. Oh, I guess this is just like an arena battle thing, yeah. Cool. I never actually got to, you know, really playing this. I never realized they even had knife guys. I never really gotten this far, because I didn't really care enough. I just said, fuck it, I'll just have it done, be done. This is actually pretty cool. I want to see how far I can probably try to get. Well, that would take too long, probably. Yeah, another good thing is critical strikes are great. They, you know, they double your points. So make sure when you're doing physical challenges, you always do that double point system because that will totally help your ass. Uh, then there's... What is there? Um, whenever you're about to finish a round, I'll show you on this round. Then. We'll just do it on this round. That's cool. That's fire. That's pretty fucking badass. Hey, look. We're actually breaking his bones. Huh? He's made his bones. He's basically bones anyway. Die, motherfucker. This is just way too fucking easy. Even if they're skeletons, it's still easy as shit. I'll show you guys on top of that. I figured this out while I was doing that, uh... That last extreme physical challenge for the Batman's thing. With the, yeah. The thing. He's in the last one, is he? Shit. 
I guess I'll just show you on this one then. Well, I got plenty of demons to beat down. And you're about to be one of them, jackass. Okay, so they respawn a Titan, of course. So now I can't do it. But what you. I died. One hit? Okay, fair enough. And at the end well, anyway, what you can do is at the end of a round, instead of doing like two hit combo, if you punch him once, if you punch an enemy once, he'll go back. You'll lose your combo. But you can still go back and punch him again. That way, you can get one. You, you, you get it's one times ten. So for every punch, it's it's ten points. Keep punching him. Just don't punch him in a combo. Just punch him once. Let him revive himself. Let him get back on his feet. Punch him again. Punch him again, and just keep going like that. So anyway, folks. We actually 100% beaten hard mode. All the challenges are done, except for the extra content, but fuck that one. I'm stupid. Um, we've got all the riddles from the main campaign. We've done all the upgrades from the main campaign. We've done all the character bios from the main campaign. We've completed 100% of Batman Arkham Asylum on hard difficulty. Was it hard? No, of course not. Well, I mean, there was, of course, the challenges that were kind of difficult. They proved difficult, but they were never really that hard. That's the first time I really actually 100% this game. I did actually 100% the game before, but this is actually my 101%, I guess you could say. Well, the extra added bullshit with it that you have to do. Uh, Trophy-wise, I could show you guys what it looks like, but no. No, let's just leave it how it is. You guys can figure that shit out for yourself. It was fun. It was fun. It was definitely a joy ride. I definitely enjoyed playing through this game. I will play this game again on my channel. Probably not. I might do a no upgrade run someday, but it'll just be a non 100% no upgrade run. It'll just be for fun. Batman Arkham Asylum is definitely one of my favorite games. You can totally tell because I've played it twice on my channel now. And beaten it twice on my channel now. <laughs> of course, the last one wasn't actually. It was 100% for the collectibles of the main campaign, but it wasn't 100% for the challenges and everything else. I'm glad I'm done. My next game will be Bioshock. And I'm going to try to slow down my playthrough for that because when I play that game, I play it through it very quickly. Like, I'm very fast with that game. Not because I'm a speedrunner, I've, it's just I know where everything is. I've gone through everything so many fucking times. It's just You kind of go from one place to another. Kind of like this game. Like, I've done this game so many times, just becomes apparent I just run through it really quickly and have no room to explain what this is or what that is or or whatever but I might just make that a cinematic appeal instead of just yeah I will try to 100% that game what I mean by try is whenever I go for all the audio diaries I sometimes fuck up and I just miss like one or two audio diaries so I will try to get all the audio diaries that I can if I don't get it oh well fuck it I know, I'm saying that for my favorite game of all time. I'm supposed to beat it 100%, right? Because I'm 100% who I'm supposed to beat everything 100%. Well, I would love to, but... You can't really 100% that game in one playthrough anyway. You can get all the audio diaries. Like, well, that's, kind of, that's kind of the same thing with Batman, though. I got everything in the main campaign the first time. I did do the challenges 100%, but I got everything else 100%. So maybe I might just do the same thing with Bioshock. I might just get all the audio diaries and collectibles and all the upgrades for your guns 100%. But, you can't get all the tonics in one run, you can't get all the plasmids upgraded in one run, it's just... You have to do New Game new game Plus for that, I might just show you guys what everything looks like in New Game Plus and just buy everything in New Game Plus and just show you what it looks like. Just just for funs. So anyway, this was definitely an enjoyable game, and I definitely recommend this to anybody who is a fan of Batman or wants to become a fan of Batman or just wants to know what Arkham is about in general, because this game's amazing. I mean, it's an easy platinum. If, you, if you're going for trophies, it's an easy platinum. Guaranteed. Of course, there is that one trophy that, that gave me trouble, and that was the, uh... Get all of his moves in one go, but since you see me do it so often here, you can tell it's obviously going to be easy. Arkham City, on the other hand... Oh, that's hard. <laughs> and Arkham Origins is even harder. So, Arkham Knight's going to be even more ridiculously difficult to do. 
And without further ado, folks, I hope you all enjoyed this series of game. Batman Arkham Asylum 100% Hard Mode. And I will see you all next time when we play some Bioshock instead. And I'll probably run through Survivor Mode difficulty on that one day. Might just do it for my Let's Play. But uh, I'll do a new video chamber run sometime, someday. After I do Bioshock, I'm planning on doing maybe Last of Us. And after Last of Us, I'm planning on getting back into Jack 2 and finishing that. So that I can play Uncharted 2. And then do 3, and then 3, and then... Yeah, <laughs> we all know where I'm going with this. Anyway, folks, take care, everybody.